So these are the current programs we have within Squad Fitness. I want to go over some of the principles of those so we make sure that we're on the same page about how we're orienting those workouts and what the goals of those workouts are and how they need to be ran a little bit differently. Uh, also, the members need to be attending different programs based on their goals. So, you know, their experience within our program it should depend on which workouts they're going to. So, you should better be able to help them better by knowing the different focuses of the programs that I'm about to go over with you right here. So, boot camps, let's talk about these real quick. Heart rate, super high, guys. We're looking at 90% of the heart rate that they can handle, which means they're also not going to sustain that. So, the heart rate is going to go up and down throughout the workout, which is why we do this in segments um, so you should do a segment which is listed by normal roman numerals this could be four to 20 minutes just going hard as they possibly can they rest recover for a minute to three kind of regroup everybody talk about the next segment and then boom go to the next segment and then keep repeating that process now what that does it affects your metabolism unless you burn calories 24 to 48 hours after the workout's over if you do it the way i told you to which is going 100 percent recovering going 100 percent and recovering now, within those workouts, they're gonna be full body workouts. So you're gonna see a lot of antagonist muscle groups. So you'll see a push, a pull, a squat. And when you work out like that, you can keep going <clears throat> at a very high effort level versus doing squats, doing lunges, doing squats, doing lunges. You're gonna, you're gonna tire your, your muscle groups out, right? So full body antagonist muscle groups is what you're gonna see in those workouts. Movements are gonna be very explosive and they're gonna be high impact. So you're gonna see uh, like burpee, squat and press. I mean, those would be movements that you would see in these types of workouts. Something that you can't do or sustain for a long period of time or you're gonna get worn out. Now, what we're gonna do here in the beginning of these type of workouts is you do a dynamic warm up. You just, you, get, you kinda hit a little bit of everything and dynamic warm up means that we're not, you know, we're not stretching or doing static stuff. We're moving into a stretch before the workout starts. Now, a lot of these workouts uh, people will finish at different times, so we don't necessarily have a, a stretch routine afterwards that we do. They can stretch on their own, which is what we recommend them to, or if they come up to you and have specific concerns, you can definitely show them some stuff as their trainer and, and what you think is going to be best for them. Now, cardio fusion is a little bit different. There is no warm-up in the beginning like there is in the boot camp sessions. The, uh, at the end of it, you will do a stretch routine with them. You'll have a, you know, a, a stretches that you're going to go over with them at the end of the workout. So it's a little different in that aspect of how you run it. The other difference is, is the heart rate is going to be a little lower. So, uh, you know, imagine if I was having a con conversation, my heart rate at 90%, it's not going to be possible up here, right? So if people can talk when they're doing boot camp, they're probably not going 100%. They need to increase their range of motion, their speed, or the weight that they have uh, within, the, uh, within the exercise. Here, you should be able to have a conversation with a couple breaks in your voice. So not necessarily like I'm talking to you right now, but you should be working a little uncomfortable, but you should still be able to talk. So, but that way you can sustain it because, guys, these workouts are nonstop. Like as soon as you start that, this type of workout, the cardio fusion, it never stops, right? So as soon as they walk in, they check in, they go ahead and get on the rows, or the, the rowers, the, the spin bikes, whatever you're using that day, you already set them up. When the time starts, it's boom, it's go time. And as soon as they come in off a run or they get off their, you know, their last round of the rowers, you're already grouping up people saying, hey, guys, you guys are going here, you guys are going there, blah, blah, blah. here's what you do over there. You just kind of keep them going, right? You, you never, like, stop them like you would up here and then regroup and, and let them recover. It's just nonstop. So because of that, heart rate's going to be a little lower, more like in the 70% range. Movements are low impact. We're also going to focus on some uh, uh, more agility and core work there versus boot camps, really hitting that high impact movement up, up, down, forward, backwards. Here, we want to hit a little bit of side to side. Um, uh, the muscles, <clears throat> really not worried about the muscle groups. Always want to be in an antagonist mindset for, for the most part. But here, the main goal is keeping the heart rate up and, uh, and, and making the movements low impact. Again, no warm up there. And then you do have a, you know, a four to five minute stretch routine with them at the end. It's 40 minutes of nonstop just keeping the heart rate up right here in a low impact environment. Now, the lift class is, all, is going to be a little bit different. The warm-up is gonna be more mobility and priming based. So like if you're doing, you know, if you know in the workout you're doing like a set of squats, uh, you know, really wanna get the IT bands rolled out, the, uh, the glutes rolled, and really just get them doing a couple warm-up movements, getting them ready for what they're about to do. So mobility, priming, you're just getting them ready to do it, and you're just getting some of those muscle groups firing before the workout starts. 
you can give them some stretches afterwards, but I really want the cardio fusion program to have like, here's the set, you know, there's a, a stretch routine that you're going. Again, here, you'll have people finish at different times, so it's kind of hard to see, get everybody regrouped and stretch them out. Now, on the lift class, the heart rate is gonna go up and down, but you, that's not really a concern there. Actually, we wanna rest them as much as needed so they get the maximum muscular tension in that particular program. Because that program is all about putting tension on the muscle group. Uh, they, the movements are gonna be big lifts, slower cadence lifts. And one thing that you'll notice is we're also looking for two or three muscle groups throughout the whole workout. You know, so you'll see supersets, things like that, but we're not looking to hit a full body workout. We're looking to hit two or three muscle groups, like you know, hamstrings and, and, and uh, or just the legs or just the upper body or maybe chest and back. We're literally looking to hit a couple muscle groups and only focus on those throughout the workout. Um, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Basically what you want to tell people here is to get your breath back before you do the next set. You'll see people, if they're used to these type of programs, which are really fast paced, they come to this one, you have to slow them down a little bit because if you keep doing that, you're not gonna be able to lift much weight and the goal is to get that maximum muscular tension. So that'll be something you have to watch out for. So guys, these programs are kind of an all encompassing you know, you know, thing as far as we can orient people's membership and what they're getting out of uh, squad fitness. So that's why when people, you know, boot camp is kind of all, uh, it's got a little bit of everything. And so when people are on limited memberships with us, we want to orient them to go to that particular program just because they're going to get the most bang for their buck if they're not going to be seeing us a lot. Now, the cardio fusion is great because it's low impact. It's easy on the joints for your more beginners or just for your people that just don't want to kill it every single day. And they, they, they want to burn some calories, burn some body fat, get that heart rate up on the in-between days of doing the boot camp sessions that is great for. But do keep that in mind when you have beginners coming in and they're just not comfortable getting up and down, getting up and down a lot, and they don't feel like they can keep up here, they will feel like they can keep up here a little bit better. And then your lift class is gonna be just for people that really wanna target on some different muscle groups. Like really, hey, I really wanna focus on this or the lower body or you know whatever that may be. But uh, get a quick recap. Boot camp, heart rate's gonna go up and down. It's gonna be really high at certain periods of time. The muscle group's gonna be full, full body, explosive, high impact movements. Those workouts are done in segments, so you, you take breaks in between those segments. Uh, you do a dynamic warm-up before that workout starts. Cardio fusion, there's absolutely no warm-up. You know, unless you're doing some kind of sled push later on, you may wanna just get the calves moving a little bit before they start, but there's not like a set, hey, here's what we're doing before. Uh, but afterwards, you do have a stretch routine with them. Heart rate's gonna be lower 70%. Muscle groups, we're not really worried about that. The movements are gonna be lower impact movements that you can do over a longer uh, time frame. And we also wanna focus on agility and core there, and the workouts are nonstop. Lift class, not really worried about the heart rate. Muscles, maximum muscular tension, rest as much as needed between sets. And, uh, and we are doing some mobility and priming before those workouts start. So guys, hopefully that just lets you know about the programs and what we're trying to do within those. And that way you can give the memberships, the members the best experience of squad fitness.